I'm your host, Neil Howard. Thank you so much for joining us once again. We'll be speaking with the returning guest, Mr. John Hardy of Outsourcing Fit. Welcome back, John. How have you been? Oh, it's great to be back here. Glad that uh, you could take the time and join us again. Tell us a, a bit about yourself for listeners who may not be familiar with you. And then I want to talk about outsourcing and some of the the obstacles that uh, have to be overcome, some of the due diligence that, that a client needs to be aware of, and also how you can help people uh, do their due diligence when looking for that uh, perfect fit. Great, Neil. Um, I've been in Asia for about 17 years, um, mostly in the Philippines, but I've been also living in Taiwan and Thailand, so I have a good aspect about the cultures and different aspects. And I, might, I mention that just because some people just don't need outsourcing for English language. Maybe it would be Thai or Vietnamese, um, depending on what their needs are. Um, so we do have a, a, a great... Uh, a, a great offering for all of those parts of it. About misconceptions or, or things to watch out for, when you're venturing out to outsource, and again, it's not like a call center, it's outsourcing your business processing, your back office, your accounting, and different things like that. Um, some people venture out and find a BPO, and they believe what they see on their website. And everybody's website can be what it is or it may not be. It may not be because it's never been verified. So mm. what we try to do in outsourcing fit is we verify the BPOs that we're with. And that means that uh, when they say they're um, – they're HIPAA approved or PCI approved for doing credit card transactions. We just don't take their word for it. We actually get a copy of their certificate and have it notarized and, and saved in our file for the client to have, which is back actually for his protection. Um, but more than not, a lot of times a BPO will say whatever to get the deal. And uh, things will go along fine for maybe two, three, four months, maybe forever. But when something happens, um, there's nothing there. There's no compliance. The client is liable. And, and, and there are other aspects that happen with that too. Let's say you're with a BPO um, and you're paying your bill every month and uh, people are working. And one day there's nobody there. And what happens is the BPO gets its doors locked. Now, why did mm -hmm. they get their doors locked? Because the owner had not been paying SSAS, PhilHealth, and his contributions to the local government. Uh. And so they get padlocked. Meanwhile, the poor client who's paid his bill and has been excellent with the work, he can't get his agents in. And he's out of business. So that's another part of our verification. We make sure that all the government uh, dues are paid up to date, and we do that on a continual audit verification basis so that the client is not let down because he's not here. He's not with the BPO. He can't check that stuff, but we can. So as a as a matchmaker and in-between person, that's what we do to make sure that everything works well. Um, if something was not working well, we'll move the client to another BPO. So those things can bite you a lot. Um, and we see it happen, oh, I would say 40% of the time. Uh, we see hear horror stories of this happening. So they really got to be careful. When it comes to not getting scammed, I'm understanding that outsourcing fit offers a blanket of protection against more than just the scenario that you just relayed to us. Performance of an, a particular employee that may affect a client's bottom line, that is protected against as well? Yes, uh, I guess on that aspect of it, the verification process we do is on um, making sure that the employee is good. That's where we take a BPO and we review their HR practices. Mm -hmm. And the HR practices mean that the employee is bondable, uh, has no criminal record, um, and that they have the past the college degree that they say they have, not just putting it down in the resume. So all of those verifications come from us from the BPO to us, uh, or we will not verify them to be placed with the client. Uh, so we're doing all of that spot checking because th there is a lot of a lot of um, games played, not just only from agents uh, desperate for work, uh, may lie on their application. And if the BPO doesn't go the mile, the extra mile, to make sure that everything is documented, uh, then the client is let down. So we follow those procedures very closely. 
Are these problems based in culture or normal criminal or negligent activity, or is this something that is rampant in outsourcing? Um, well, it would probably be a third of a third of the BPOs may fall in that category, maybe by by uh, by their own doing or maybe by neglect. So somebody may own a BPO and own it from a foreign country and they hire local managers to run it and accounting and then somebody internally does something wrong and it's it's not checked and meanwhile the owner doesn't know any better but the BPO has gone south, um, you know, in, in both in legality and, and payments and structure and that. Um, so those things are, are very key and by by doing our verification, which we do everything on the remittances, the number of employees they have, the government fees are paid, um, and we continually do that verification, we're able to not only hold the BPO in line, but maybe even the owner for the BPO feels now that his remote management to the ownership of it is being done properly too. If we discover something, uh, we certainly will be talking to the owner of it too because he may not be aware of it. Uh, but it, again, it, it comes, there are so many BPOs. Uh, you know, you've got uh, several hundred thousand agents working in the Philippines, if not a million, and um, those tend to have a certain amount of discrepancies. What type of, of time constraints do you have when trying to verify such a large amount of information, much of which may not have even been mentioned, but you're checking it just the same? Yeah, so in our in our uh, software and in our program and that in our staffing. So if you're a BPO that is verified with this, that may be selected that they would be on a quarterly or or yearly verification process. And so our staff will request the documents to be updated in our files. Now a BPO that may say, oh, I just want to do it once a year. Okay, that's fine. We'll only verify them once a year. Some of them say, I want to be verified every quarter. That is a plus for the client. The client says, oh, I think I'll go with the guy that's verified every quarter because now I know that everything is not going to go sideways on me and really safe, and I can feel very comfortable with my staffing because that's his business. Those people are really his employees. Talk about the biggest fear of your client that you have to put their mind at ease. What are, what are your clients trusting you most not to let happen? Um, I guess the most thing that most of them are worried about is that the people will leave and not show up from work after training them. Um, and that's where the nutrition part comes to it. So in the, let's say in the U.S. or Canada and you've got somebody hired in their $20 an hour, $15 an hour, and you train them for two or three weeks, they may be gone in the fourth week because they're always looking for a little extra. But in the Philippines, people are so happy to have a job. Mm. that they normally stay and, and hold on to that golden soul. So the retention is very high. So he once he's trained somebody, he can probably count on them staying there forever. So it's, it's just a better feeling. Uh, tell us where folks can get in contact with you and find out much more about outsourcing, offshoring, and about outsourcing fit, if you would, John. The easiest way is to go to our website, outsourcingfit.com. And uh, once you get to the website, uh, just select whether you're a client or a BPO or you're looking to sell your BPO or you're looking for a job. There's a job section there, too. Um, and uh, join up and put your email in, and we'll we'll get back to you with whatever you need. John, I appreciate your time. Thank you so much for returning and speaking with us again here at Outsourcing Fit. It's been a pleasure. Thank you very much, Neil. You've been listening to Outsourcing Fit. I'm your host, Neil Howard, in conversation with returning guest, John Hardy. Find out more at our website, www.verticalinternetmedia.com, and about our BPO services at outsourcingfit.com.